and all the first prize of uh, 800 pounds today out of a prize pool of 4,260. As you were saying, Mike, it's uh, six games, although they be sprints, but uh, it's a test of uh, not just ability, but fitness, isn't it, and concentration. Well, concentration as much, yeah. Fitness comes into it as well when you get a bit older, but certainly the mental strength to keep concentrating is very important uh, in a long day like this. Yeah. Go his, go his better, yeah. Chris would just give him four to five feet of room. We were saying in the, in the last semi-final, uh, Darren Smith and Gary Ellis do contrasting deliveries. Yeah. Uh, and Chris, Chris is the same, actually. Right-hander, but he just come across his body a bit like a left-hander. Found a length there. I think that's just one in. Mm. However good you are, you know, Gary will be wanting to get on the score sheet, and he's got mm. a bit of a chance here. I think he's got enough yeah. room to... And he's won it with this. Yeah. Next two if he hits it right. Yeah, it's good lead. So he's on the on the board, Gary. Seven eight. In another game at the moment, James Green stands leading ten nine against Darren Edmondson. So if you're picking a winner out of these four, who are you going for then, Mike? I'm going to go for James Grimston. James Grimston, okay. the former. Because as soon as I tip Tommy King early, he lost. So. Yeah, the tips does not been so good. Gallon, uh, Dave Jackson tipped Andy Cairns and he went out five minutes later. <laughs> Commentator's curse. <laughs> oh, Gary, it's what are you doing? Well, well. lead from Gary. Yeah, it's been noticeable. I mean, in the last round, he, he didn't lead particularly well, did he? No, not as well as he normally does. He's. Uh, but he's a very, very dogged competitor. Mm -hmm. He's got tremendous will to win. Chris Ward's punished it. Gary's a four to five favourite now, Mike. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'd be wanting to back him at that price. I'm not sure his odds on in a semi-final mm -hmm. this quality. Mm. Yeah, then what he done there? He's fell. And he's fallen over. And he's fallen. It just looks like it's won it. I'm not sure. Yeah, Gary points to his arm. <coughs> It was a, a good improvement, Mike. Now Chris has played a runner at this. He's watch, watching it all the way. He's done it. Done the jack. Will he stop on? Yeah. Yeah. Another great ball, just like he played at the first end, reaching yeah. on the yeah. road. Excellent good, good, good reach, uh, Chris. Always plays up a line, gives his balls a chance. And Gary signals one down. 9-7 to Ward. James Greenston still 11-9. Chris Ward uh, leading out. 42-year-old computer programmer from Stafford. Last year, or well, two years ago, he made his 100th county appearance, Mike. Well, that takes some doing. Yeah. At that age. Uh, he's also do you have more county games than we do or something? Yeah. Do you have more county games than we do? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have as many, we usually get beat at the Stafford. <laughs> he played another good lead. Chris is also a tre tremendous snooker player. He knock, knocked, up, knocked up many a century break, as, as Chris. And he's certainly right on cue with that lead. His foot at the side. And Gary, oh, what about that? Right yeah, he lifted. Now I'm sure Chris will be reaching again. Where is he? I think he just left it short. He oh, should have reached. Yeah. When he needed to. I'm saying the first, first time in this tournament. And Gary's trying, coming for another, is he, or just, uh, just, yeah, just gone out? Just gone past, just the just one to Alice. One to Alice. And Gary from Tong, 37 years old. Did you say the average age was 39 and a half, I think he said, for the four semi-finals.
I think it was only five years from the youngest to the oldest of them, so yeah. it's obviously the perfect age to be playing bowls at. Yeah. Now then, where's Gary going to go now? Along the edge? Which He's, edge? Yeah. Yeah, go on along. He's decided to go along the change stand. of tactics. I mean, you've played Gary a few times. I mean, this, uh, with his delivery, is, do you find him easy to, easy to follow, the little step back, his little Ellis <laughs> shuffle? Well, you certainly don't stand right behind him. <laughs> no. um, yes, he, he's, his woods come out very true, there's no question about that. There's, there's no difficulty in following the lamb because he's invariably on it. Um, it's an unusual delivery, but uh, his woods come out, come out beautifully clean generally. Yeah. You know, I've played Gary a time or two and I've had him treading on my toes. <laughs> Chris has just gone in there. This looks better. Can you get a line? Can you move the jack a little bit? Makes two. That's a great ball. If he's only one, I think he'll probably strike at this. He just needs to make sure that he's not two down. He's just right in front. It's one. Yeah. He just played with the controlled pace. We'll call this. He's nearly done it. Gap, I think. Oh. Unlucky. Both playing uh, Gary and Chris with Thomas Tyler's bowls. 2-12 Chris, 2-11 Gary. In fact, all four semi-finals for Thomas Tyler's bowls. Are they the, gr the bowls for the green then, Mike? Uh, well, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Didn't help me. I play with them as well. Oh. Yeah, but you're, you're up here with me, I'll play with them as well. <laughs> perhaps, but you and I are perhaps not a good advertisement for Thomas Starr as well. Possibly not. That's why they've never sponsored us, Mike. <laughs> now then, Gary's coming along the edge again. Played another good lead. Chris, it just, just failed. Just interesting that, because Gary's come up this edge and this way is actually fractionally heavier than the other way. Yeah. You say it's just a little bit heavier, this Mike? Yeah, this and way. he's just caught Chris, with Chris not knowing the green as well. Just yeah. caught him short. Now Chris and has cocked this out. He's had an awful yeah. delivery, just seemed to jump up in front of him. It's not going to save. Two to Ellis. He just seemed to with a little bump out of his hand. He, he did, he, he, as soon as he delivered it, he wasn't Kicked happy. it offline. So, Gary Ellis takes the lead for the first time, 11-9.